Why is that? Because in this vessel to your left, or any of these vessels to our right, the containers, was heading towards the lake. That pressure of water from the clock wash would be on the gate. By having those open slots, then you have that water clear and move over towards the middle chamber, and not have a whole lot of pressure on the gate itself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready now to open the minor gate ahead of the vessel. This process today will take us about two minutes. The original system is the big bearing you saw down below as you guys came up the steps. The gates are original. Today we use hydraulics with 225 horsepower motors. Prior right to the year 1997, we used that big rule system with only 140 horsepower. And notice there are back-to-back -back gates. Look down below to your left. This vessel is not very long. So we didn't need to use that additional gate. Those additional gates are used whenever you're coming in from the highest part, in this case the lake, at 26 meters or 85 feet to your left. And then if you would have one of these large vessels coming in, for example with containers, you would close that additional gate to retain that water pressure. And worst case scenario, avoid at all costs is a cable snap of the locomotive that the vessel doesn't hit the main gate. Abajo a la mano izquierda van a apreciar un huevo de compuertas adicional, compuertas de emergencia. Se utilizan para retener presión de agua, evitar en el peor de los casos de reventar un cable de acero a la locomotora de que el barco evite pegar en la compuerta principal. Las compuertas que apreciamos hoy son originales del sistema operativo un poco distinto, son brazos hidráulicos, utilizando dos motores de 25 caballos de fuerza cada uno. Antes del año 2000, o sea, antes del nuevo siglo, pudieron apreciar abajo que nos subieron las escaleras el sistema de engranaje. Ese era el sistema original de la vida y sobrar las compuertas. En esa época era un motor solo de poner que acabar de fuerza. Observe el electric tono de los on the west side. 173, center one, coming up the incline. We're not doing anything there. Look at the cable. Slap on the cable, come to the incline. Now, twos, threes, and fours. Follow the vessel to your right. Second, third, and fourth total locomotives are now pulling on that cable to help that vessel stop completely. That's why you need those numbers that you see at the center wall on the light bulbs. That tells you the distance inside the chamber. And when you're about 800 feet inside the chamber, you got about 200 feet, 60 meters ahead of you. They all pull together to bring the vessel to a stop. But yes, I know some of you are even more curious. There have been times and they, they mess up, of course. There's one vessel scrape on the wall. We have less good gates. Human errors, of course, and power outage in the areas of the locks. All these different scenarios that can occur. All right, you heard the bell drum from the electric tone of the motor operator. That's the way they acknowledge to the pilot whenever an instruction is given to them. Radio inside. They hear the instructions given by the pilot, all done in English. Everything here is done in English. Even though we're a Spanish-speaking country, everything is English will be our official language for the World Maritime Organization. So they hear the instructions, proceed to ring the bell twice. That tells the pilot I heard, I proceed, and there they go. In this case, to our left is to help the vessel break the nourish and move towards the next step. Cannabis! una campana que proviene de la locomotora. Esta es la manera en que el operador le puede indicar al piloto panameño a bordo de la nave que ha recibido una instrucción. Thank you. Vía radio, ellos están escuchando toda la información, todas las órdenes dadas en idioma inglés, ya que el idioma principal, oficial, lo que es la, el mundo marítimo internacional a pesar de que somos un país latino ellos a través de esta radio escuchan la orden dada por el piloto práctico del canal nuestro panamérico que procede del barco y proceden a llevar a cabo entonces la orden en este caso a la izquierda sería ayudar al barco a romper inercia en el barco a la derecha la vida de Hanna, sería de tensar los cables para que el barco se detenga observe Look how quickly he's moving. He's dragging it just a little bit. Side one stays parallel to that one. And to all of you that have your iPad, your iPhone, and all this great technology with you right now, if you need to send an email, you got Wi-Fi available for you. Just call in directly where it says Panama Canal. 
Ryan. Go ahead, send that picture up to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and everyone will know you're here with us today. Are we with our passengers on the sweater golf? Correct? And that is the name? Yes. This one is one more time. Are you with the sweater golf? Yes! Yeah. Much better. Much, much better. Excellent. All right, go. You guys, small ones are coming for us. el agua hoy me mareo ahí va rápido subiendo el agua para que el barco pase ven como rápido va pasándose el agua para llenar este canal y así el barco este pueda pasar ¿Cómo vimos ese remolino abajo, eh? Mira cómo va la casa, vaya los muchachos. Para ponerse la remontada. Al otro remontador que ellos se lo va a pasar allá. Ah, ya. Con dos remontadores, uno lo lleva hasta ahí y el otro lo lleva hasta el agua. Una tropela. Ah, como una tropela. Sí. Propulsión a propulsión propulsión a chorro propulsión al chorro para que lo llene rápido mira que rápido lo va llenando
el barco tú lo ves ahí, el barco va bajando también. Ah, tiene que ir al nivel de acá, ¿verdad? Sí, ya está bajando al nivel. Ya va a entrar el, el barco de contenedores. The vessel that we observed here today, that's in a Roy, with the vessel that's paying a little bit over eighty thousand dollars, and based on that, it's paying the Panama Canal a little over ninety thousand, uh, based on the capacity of containers that it may carry. It's doing the first drop here in the two locks. of a little bit over 20 feet or eight and a half meters. Here, it will be able to enter the waters on the middle chamber, which is down below to your right, and continue to enter the body of water on the far right, which will be the Caribbean Sea. Meantime, we'll have a containerized cargo vessel to our right on the west lane, unloaded part of the cargo in the areas of Fort Toronto in Cologne, and now we'll be heading towards the west coast of the U.S. Igual, podemos apreciar la embarcación al fondo a nuestra derecha de contenedores. Acaba de bajar parte de los contenedores en la ciudad de Colón, en uno de los puertos. Y se dirige ahora hacia la costa pacífica de Estados Unidos. Todavía falta otra embarcación más de contenedores que se aproxima a las cruzas. Hoy es un día fantástico para el canal. Hoy tenemos 40 embarcaciones transitando. La gran mayoría vienen precisamente del Pacífico hacia el Caribe. Con ende, que empezamos la operación the descent of the Panama Canal when we go on the Luxor. Today, it's a very good day for the Panama Canal. We have 40 ships that will be transiting the waterway. The majority of these vessels are all coming from the Pacific Ocean, which in reference to where you're at right now, if you look at the control house building in front of you, it will be to your left, about 70 kilometers, 38 miles from where we're at right now. That is why we began the process of bringing in the vessels earlier today. Normally we do this at noon. Notice the time here in Panama right now, it's almost 11 a.m., so we started a little sooner than we drove. And we still have another containerized cargo vessel approaching on the far right, coming around the curve. In reference to where you're at right now, my dear friends, the expansion sure. will be behind us. So if you look over to the far north end, about the seven buoy to your right, you can see the gray structures out there. Those will be for the first set of gates of the new lock. And if you take a look over to your left-hand side at the center wall, my co-workers using the Ohio cranes there to replace the pistons. The hydraulic system is now being replaced in accordance to the risal of the lake. The lake's going to be raised so we can meet those standards of our new lock system by next year, 2015. So there's pistons being replaced at the center wall. There's eight on the west lane, 
There will be eight pistons being replaced here on the east lane. When you walk over to the left-hand side, you have a water pump. If you look down below, you will see another crane and a piston there on the ground. Señores, estamos hoy apreciando lo que se lleva a cabo en acorde con lo que es el proyecto de ampliación. Si miran abajo a la izquierda, vemos las grúas donde mis compañeros en el muro central, ustedes ven que están ahí alrededor de ese corralito ahí, están reemplazando los pistones. Son ocho que van a ser reemplazados hacia el oeste y ocho aquí en la vía cercana, ya que el nivel del lago va a subir para poder entonces prepararnos y de esta manera poder tener un pistón con mayor fuerza cuando tenga mayor presión de agua. Si miran abajo la compuerta, hay unas escotillas, hay unos cuadrantes que han sido cortados en la misma compuerta. Eso sería para cuando el barco esté para pasar hacia el agua y la presión de agua del aceleramiento del motor ejerza presión sobre la compuerta, el agua tenga donde desembocar al próximo nivel. If you take a look down below to your left 